So, from here it's all new. That's the elevator I took with Corel and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? Literally never. <laughs> oh, good. So much for your girlfriend meeting us. It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Tie him down! Drop that spacey space cop! Channel your newfound paternal energy. Paternal now? We're fine, Peter. We know how to fight. I know. I, I just. We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corel's office was up top somewhere. Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Okay. Can't get in here. No. Can't get in here. Mm. Oh yes. Maybe we should just ask someone for directions. More deadly gas. Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? He's got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking to Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super emotionally mature. Yeah, sure mate, sure. Look on the bright side. The longer it takes to find them, longer we can pretend they're okay. Comforting. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Quietly? Nah, I tend to think better when I'm mouthing off. If that were true, you <laughs> would have solved all the mysteries of the galaxy by now. <laughs> hey, who says I ain't? <laughs> Fuck, man, the dialogue is so it's good. Corel's office. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's got to be eaten at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. The prospect of maybe being a dad is... a little scary. A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. It is the essence of fatherhood. <laughs> you okay there? Oh boy. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to. <laughs> I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good, Peter. All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. Good life tip there with Drax. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Hmm. There's something in here. I have been thinking. It is customary on Katath to bathe new fathers in a river of blood. Lucky for Peter we're not on Katath. Need some muscle, Drax. This shall be fulfilling. Bonk. Yoink. I just realized something. Nikki's a tech expert. A tech expert. Knows her way around will. ships. Fits into small spaces. Don't you dare finish that sentence. And she seems to get along well with Peter. <laughs> Good luck replacing me with a dead kid. <laughs> Man, he is fucking obsessed with the idea she's dead. And she absolutely is not. Hello? Bring Hello? them back. Nikki? She did sound a Looks bit empty. like insane. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. On that message she left us is the only issue. Strange writings on the wall. 
I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rockets! <laughs> hey, hey. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return. Any luck getting in? The thing's pretty well protected. I need time. All right. Let me know. Nikki! Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah. This doesn't look good. Ah, oh, appealing. What? <laughs> What's fucking appealing? Are you seriously focused on food <laughs> right now? Mystery makes me hungry. Hey, save me some, will ya? Mystery makes me hungry. What a mood. Hey, bae. Anything for us to do in? Oh, what is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree purity laws. What Cree purity law? What the fuck? Reconnect Xbox Wireless controller. Us. Corel never told you that either. The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Oh, this does not look good. For you. Oh, for Nikki. What are the chances the Kree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki would be hanging from a wall. Well, that's just great. Upcoming accuser visit. As you are all aware, the accuser will be making her diplomatic trip to Harla's Hope next cycle to discuss the Kree Council's involvement with reconstruction efforts. However, this is not her only business on the station. All Kree currently serving Nova Corps will be expected to meet with the accuser at the allotted time for your interrogation. You may be asked to provide records of family history and recent medical results, not the ones provided by Nova Corps, but by a certified Kree physician from the Purity Council list. If you have children currently living with you, they may be interviewed as well. Failure to arrive for your appointment will not be tolerated. The accuser will be more than willing to locate you in your place of work and escort you to an interrogation room. Do be punctual. Nice. Gotta love a bit of a uh, fucking. What's the word? The whole racial purity shit. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, <laughs> why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Oh, gee, I wonder. Your daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corel said we shouldn't be doing this, he was being literal. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. This must be Corel's first kid. I remember she talked about him a lot. He was on Hala, right? When the Shatari. Yeah. Her kid and her husband. Oof. Explains how fearless she was during the war. She had nothing to lose. Big oof. Corel had a real artistic side to her. She was the only Cree I ever knew who painted and played music. I used to think it was a sign of weakness, but... No. It's a strength. Definitely a sign of strength. Don't know if it's a sign of either, really. <laughs> likes art and music. Good for her. <laughs> A thing that she likes. I don't know if I'd say it's a sign of anything. Some kind of dye machine. Is it normal for Kree to dye their hair? Not unless they're hiding something. Like the fact that she's naturally blonde? Oh, I bet. I bet. Uh, hello? Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Is the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? I really wouldn't know. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover 
What did you find? I wonder if Nikki made this. Maybe, maybe. Anything else? Well, you interested in seeing this or not? I'm coming. I can't dash suddenly. Why can't I dash? I can still jump, but I can't double jump and I can't dash. Those abilities have just been removed. Wait, what's this? So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost rats. <laughs> He's talking about data. <laughs> right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're that's not where we're going. Until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. So I guess, I don't know if that was a bug, like, because it seems like clicking whatever was over here did the dialogue that would have played if Peter, I clicked here. shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. We didn't. I'm a thorough boy. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church is behind them. Oh, oh fuck. crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. Hello. Um. What the fuck? Okay. It's weak to fire, it says, which I don't have, but I will do at some point. Hey, grab the lock. Can't even scratch that thing! He can't get us all! Come on, guys! Let's mob the bot! How do I get him out? Peter! Drax needs help! Yeah, I don't know I don't know how I would go about helping. Chop chop, Gamora! Knife to me! So are we thinking this thing can brainwash people? I do not feel brainwashed right now. I feel shot at. This one just eats ammo. All we had to do was walk quietly across the corridor. Really? We're gonna do this now. Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? Oh my god, it has a second health bar. I didn't realize. We must break it! I did not notice the second health bar. We all agree the church is part of this now, right? Gee, what gave it away? You struggle in vain! You got it! Nice, nice. Out! That's gonna hurt! Guys, what do we do about this big bot? We are right now doing something about this big bot. Pummeling something with skin is infinitely Any more satisfying. I don't know. I we got a huddle, but we don't need it. We must tell the dog about the priest. Robot priest. I am Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. That is going to be tough to beat when in a room full of other so, things to beat. <laughs> how do we get across? Peter's the one with the visor. Unless you broke it. I didn't break it. Hey, 
what I would give to get into some of these servers. That'll do it. Well played, Peter Quill. Thank you, thank you. How am I supposed to know why the pooch ain't picking up? Keep Everyone trying. get on. Or don't. It's weird, right? Oh, it's amazing. How the world mines seem to have gone completely dark. Very weird. Perhaps it is rebooting. Yeah. Okay, so according to the map I saw, Nexus should be just above us. Uh, shall I throw the rodent? No! Come on. <sighs> All right, let's look around. Maybe we can find something. Okay. Well, I mean, there's this, obviously. I don't know if this is the way to go, but that is where something is, so... What does that do for me? Dog report item. We have encountered a formidable new enemy, but still no sign of the ghosts. He didn't mean literal ghosts. Ghosts in the system. Remnants of data. Yeah, let it go. Just let him think there are ghosts. <laughs> To think, all of this could have been avoided had the rodent not broken the glass. You're blaming him for that? His panicked scampering is what caused the final break. Your oversized gut is what caused the first 50 breaks! Guys! <laughs> pretty sure it was already cracked. Probably from that giant robot priest mutiny thing. Anyway, can't we just celebrate that we're back on track? I think? Yay. Hmm? Yay. Okay, there's there's something to grab over here somewhere. Oh, ri literally right there. How did I miss that? Perhaps we should have interrogated the robot priest. Yeah, next time we encounter a giant, deadly robot priest, we'll tie him up first and ask questions. <laughs> Do you have rope? No. <laughs> your plan is untenable. <laughs> Oh, hey, Groot, God. any luck getting through to Cosmo yet? I am Groot. Nope, still nothing. Reception will probably be better once we're on the bridge. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Is this the bridge right here? It looks pretty bridgey. Okay, this is it, the command center. Which I guess makes that the next control terminal. Fingers crossed we find something useful. Oh boy. I'm thinking you should do the honors, Quill. I will be sure to do that. Like you. He probably thinks the next is booby trapped. Ah, uh, that would explain it. <laughs> hey, I ain't the one that's eager to know what happened. Let Quill see for himself. What do you think, Groot? <laughs> he says it's the best. What are we waiting for, Peter? Yeah, yeah, just psyching myself up. Quick bit of exploring never hurt anyone. I wonder. I do not understand. Why is Peter Quill not accessing the Nexus? Because he's scared of ghosts. Liar. Okay, 1969 will be useful for something, I guess. Uh, cycle reminders. Poor Et. To do. Finish report on explosion in docking. Schedule hazardous material crew. Review arrest reports. Cross reference outstanding warrants. Meeting upcoming millennium test for Denarian Yeelock. Schedule Causeman Ballistic Training. Believe in yourself. Ongoing slash failing. Don't forget to eat something. Feels bad. That's another passcode for something. Just some personal logs. Another plant, okay. Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the <laughs> Little family photo, very nice, very nice. Nice. <laughs> That's quite the mustache. Find something? So Corel's badge number is 0001. How could she be the first one? The world mine reset all Nova IDs after the Galactic War. Rocket, just access it yourself. Mm -mm. Regular computers are one thing, but I ain't leaving my prints on no Nexus terminal. Boop. 
My god, what's with all these passcodes? Centurion Carlos, trying something a little different? Let me know what you think. Carlor made sure his office door was locked. He pulled down the shades on his viewport, sat at his desk, and wondered just how true this story was. The client was pretty convincing, but most liars are. Still, there was something in it. He tapped his fingers on the case file, but didn't open it. He stood up and walked to the wash bin. Wash bin? Wash basin. Looked at himself in the mirror, grimaced, and turned away. She'd offered him too much money for too little a job. It didn't add up. Something about it gnawed at him. He hurried back to the file, turned on the light and looked over the pages carefully. There, indented on the back of the photo, a number. 0025. Combination maybe? Contact number? He ran out. If he hurried, he might be able to tail the client. She, if that led anywhere? I assume that means C, if that led anywhere. Have you found any useful information, Peter Quill? Uh, well, it's something. Maybe he is worried it'll prove they're dead. I really couldn't tell you. Hmm, wonder what this does. Nothing useful is my guess. Novacore and their bloated administrative crap. Probably need a car just to use the bathroom. No, it does not sound like a good idea. <laughs> People should be free to pee whenever and wherever they want. Ew. I told you he was a monster. Hmm? Dog report item. We have reached the command center, but Peter Quill refuses to access the Okay, access. that's looping. Last side to check. Any chance we might need an access number? Maybe. Won't know till you try accessing the thing first. We found Rocket, so many passcodes. it yourself. Mm -mm. Regular computers are one thing, but I ain't leaving my prints on no Nexus terminal. Okay, I think that's everything. So, let's do it. Maybe he is worried it'll prove they're dead. I really couldn't tell you. Locked. I wonder though. Nikki really didn't want her mom to know about this pass key she gave me. No way is some kid's card gonna bypass the next. Henry, you're kidding. <laughs> yes. no, what the in. fuck? God damn it. Go to the criminal records, Quill. I want to see my files. Uh, I mean, let's just go down in order. Audio Get logs. Get see stuff already. Channeling your Nova Force. A, a comprehensive guide to meditation and managing your mental health. Actually, I wouldn't mind a copy of that. Pass. Yep. Yeah. Contraxia re incident report. Let me get this straight. She became a teapot? That's what my source said. <laughs> Amazing. I hate you all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Prisoner procedure? <laughs> Well, that's fucked. Well, that don't sound good. The audio file must be corrupted. You don't say. The audio file and everything else in the galaxy. And pre-check notice quarantine zone mission. Attention away team. Please ensure your helmet cams are in full operation ahead of this afternoon's away mission into the quarantine zone. Thank you. Just like Corel, everything by the book. Yeah. Okay. Onto personnel files. It's a list of bucket heads. Uh, Corral. We already know your girlfriend works here, Quill. So it might have useful info or something. Uh, Centurion recruited by Richard Ryder. Unknown status. Origin Cree La. Posting Harless Hope. Role Captain. Background. Joined the Nova Corps after the Galactic War. Her previous experience in the Cree Imperial Army was a bene beneficial gain to this organization. Her role during the Siege of Chitari Prime was instrumental to winning the Galactic War. In the time since, Corel has become instrumental to the rebuilding efforts across the galaxy. Notably, her involvement in the creation of the Quarantine Zone, a galactic dumping zone for Galactic War technology. Addendum, Centurion has requested a permanent assignment to the Quarantine Zone in the Andromeda Star System. Huh. Why? Why would you request that? Notes, it's been one cycle since Centurion, Corel, and the crew of Harless Hope have checked in with the world mine, further monitoring required. Commendations, Kree Imperial Army Cross Galactic War Commendation. Agent of Thanos? Gamora, care to explain? Not really. Except that it wasn't me. Malik Tarsel. Another Centurion recruited by Roman Day, who we're going to learn more about below. He's dead. Origin Chandelar. Diplomat. Uh, Centurion Malik Tarsel was an accomplished diplomat assigned to Chandelar, the throne world of the Shi'ar Empire. After the collapse of the Kree Empire during the Galactic War, Tarsel was able to broker a tenuous alliance with Majestrix Lilandra, 
who saw an opportunity to expand her empire. Shortly after, an agent of Thanos attempted to assassinate both Tarsel and Lilandra. Tarsel did not survive the encounter, afterward the Magistrix restricted the alliance. Or rejected the alliance. A memorial has been erected on Yuzandar commemorating those who sacrificed their lives for the greater good of the galaxy. Got the Blue Star posthumously and Galactic Medal of Valor posthumously. Check it Nikki. out. Nikki's got a file. Boring. Cadet. Recruited by a mum. Origin unknown. Banter. Uh, Nikki is a cadet in training and child of Corel. Her father remains unknown. Despite a few demerits on her record, no doubt a result of her mother being her commanding officer, Gold shows great promise and will likely have a successful career in the Nova Corps. It's been one cycle since Corel uh, has checked in. Monitoring required. No commendations. I have heard of this one. Was a good man. Sub good means scut when you're dead. Prime Commandant. That's got to be uh, one of the top ranks. He's dead though. Origin on Xandar. Uh, Roman Day graduated top of his class from the Nova Academy. He quickly rose in rank, attracting the attention of the world mind. As Prime Commandant, Day oversaw the day to day. <laughs> Day oversaw the day to day. Operations of the Nova Corps space, mil space Militia and Exploration Divisions, respectively. This included overseeing Nova Prime. During the Galactic War, Day called upon the Xandarian Star Corps fleet to create a blockade against invading Chitari forces. This blockade was instrumental to the evacuation of Xandar. Only one squadron would survive this encounter. He is reported missing in action and presumed dead. A memorial has been erected on New Xandar commemorating those who sacrificed their lives for the greater good of the galaxy. Medal of Valor posthumously, War Commendation posthumously. Mate, if he's missing in action and not actually dead, he ain't dead. Welcome to comic books. If you don't literally see them die very like clearly then they aren't dead and even if you do see them die very clearly they'll be back in a year or two hey wall then who is running nova Corps? that's a good question the world mind isn't it richard Ryder, rank prime top dog a wall though origin earth uh richard Ryder, aka nova prime is the former acting leader he was selected by the world mind after his squadron was the only one to survive the destruction of xandar his leadership during the galactic war led to several victories notably the final siege of chitari prime Post-war, Ryder took a more political role in galactic affairs. His primary focus was the rebuilding of the Nova Corps Space Militia and Exploration Division with the help of member worlds. He's been AWOL for multiple rotations, Wild Minds lost all contact, further action required. Got the Medal of Valor and War Commendation. She crashed into a Leviathan on purpose and is still a better pilot than Quill. <laughs> hey! What? You know it's true. Samaya. So rank Denarian, recruited by Roman. She's also dead. Uh... Denarian Samaya was a member of Starcore fleet that created the blockade around Xandar. In a last ditch effort to buy Xandar time, Samaya led a squadron of Starcore fighters on a collision course toward the Jatari Leviathan. She did not survive. Memorial erected. Yeah, okay. Criminal files. Units mine's the biggest. They can't be that scary if they share a record. <laughs> Garrick and Rosson Blood. Threat level Continental. Alias Blood Brothers, they're in custody. Uh, intimidation, assault, extortion, torture, murder, crimes of war. The Blood Brothers are twin rock lights known for their war crimes they committed on behalf of Thanos during the Galactic War. Both were sentenced to 44 life sentences in the maximum security penal facility known as the Kiln. However, shortly after their incarceration, they escaped and joined the terrorist organization known as Lethal Legion. Due to their violent tendencies and unique physiological bond, the World Mind recommend recommends containment in separate facilities. Attending officers should approach with extreme caution. The Blood Brothers were recently hired by Lady Hellbender, currently held in custody by the Nowhere Security Corps. Insists Cosmo insists the matter does not require intervention at this time. Affiliations: Thanos, Lethal Legion, Lady Hellbender. I've heard of this guy. He's part of a private army called the Lethal Legion. <laughs> More like the Loser Legion. Got him. Glari, threat level planetary, alias Captain Glory. <laughs> uh, for a whole load of shit. Leader of the Leith. Oh, he's the leader of the Lethal Legion, a terrorist or organization masquerading as mercenaries for hire. Decorated soldier, defected from the Imperial Kree army during the war. Should be considered dangerous. World Mind recommends Nova Corps forces exercise extreme caution. Uh, hired by Hellbender. Okie doke. What is it with you, Humies, and your stupid names? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Star-Lord is not in the same league as Darkhawk, okay? One's the name of the greatest band of all time, and the other's a bird. Christopher Powell, aka Darkhawk, threat level planetary. Whole load of shit. Uh, 
Enhanced human and member of the Shi'ar Empire's banished Fraternity of Raptors. Similar in design to Nova Force, Powell gains his enhanced abilities from the sentient Raptor armor and Data Song contained within a Shi'ar amulet. Due to the corruptive nature of the information stream known as Data Song, the World Mind recommends confiscation and destruction of all items containing the tech. Once separated, the World Mind feels Powell can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 22%. It appears the fraternity of raptors are responsible for several ass assassinations in the Shi'ar Empire. Monitoring required. Hey, it's Drax! So, Drax's criminal record is pretty big. That is what your mother said. Because <laughs> his mother's dead. <laughs> Threat level planetary, alias the destroyer. Status, one unpaid fine. Uh, he's done a lot, including tax evasion. Uh, Drax is a decorated Katathian warrior, galactic war hero, and widower from the planet Katath. Why is it mad? Why would it put Widower on his criminal record? I mean, I guess that's information for why he went after Thanos, but still. After his defeat of the Mad Titan, Drax went on a murderous rampage across the galaxy. Despite his crimes, the World Mind recognizes Drax's contribution to the Resistance during the Galactic War. Without his heroism, this organization would not stand today. Further, his self surrender to the core established good faith. As such, the World Mind agreed to reduce Drax's 100 year sentence for mass murder and various other charges in the maximum security penal facility known as the Kiln. After seven years, he was released without bias. Damn. Since his release, he's joined the Gardeners of the Galaxy, a supposed legitimate business enterprise founded by Peter Quill. Cool, cool. Zen, Woberi, Ben, Titan, Gam oh, Gamora, I right. I thought there'd be more here. Barely scratches the surface. Threat level galactic. Deadliest woman in the galaxy, also one unpaid fine. Uh, no tax evasion for you though, well done. Is the adoptive child and former pet assassin of Thanos. Criminal involvement with the Ch Chitari has led to the generation of this file. Despite war crimes, the world mind begrudgingly notes that without Gamora's defection to the resistance, the galactic war may not have been won. As such, under advice from Richard Ryder, amnesty has been granted. The world mind has refused participation from Gamora regarding post-war efforts related to the future of New Xandar and the Nova Corps as an organization. A priority zero flag has been placed on her file. Attempts to surveil Gamora unsuccessful. P zero flag remains intact. Recently joined the gardeners. Da da da. Okay. Groot. You? <laughs> A gold dome? Over my dead body, buddy. Wait, I just realized the unpaid fine is the thing that we all have. Right, that makes more sense. Duh. Uh, frequently seen in the company of Rocket. Despite association with Rocket, World Mind feels the Groot can be rehabilitated with a failure margin of 0.4%. As such, he's determined Groot to be a potential candidate for the Nova Corps. Huh. Report of stolen property was submitted by Tanalir Tivan regarding theft of a Flora Colossus. The World Mind has chosen to disregard the report as it violates several galactic treaties. Uh, Groot's joined the gardeners. You know, for a non-spacefaring species, us humans sure get around. Unfortunately. Heather Douglas, galactic threat level, eh? Alias Moon Dragon. Inactive. Huh. Removal of bodily autonomy. Heather Douglas, aka Moon Dragon, is a powerful telepath from the planet Earth. It is believed that the ent entity known as the Dragon of the Moon has exerted influence over Douglas, corrupting her mental powers. Given her abilities, both telepathic and foreign, the world mind has placed a priority one flag on her file. Further investigation required, however, potential containment is not possible without further resources. Worth noting, Douglas was one of three candidates prophesized by the Priests of Puma to take the mantle of Celestial Madonna. Huh. Which, I think someone said that Mantis is that at the moment, right? As such, uh, world mind thinks rehabilitation is possible with an almost 50% failure margin. Whereabouts unknown. Hey, isn't that the guy we saw when we tried to pay our fine? Yeah. yeah that's him. Uh, threat level village. <laughs> Alias Jack Flag. Uh, enhanced human and escape convict. Enhancements the result of the Hyde formula. Harrison was arrested for impersonating a Nova Corps Centurion. Since his arrest, all communication with Rock. No facility where he's been detained has been severed. Look. It's Jax's girlfriend. Lady Hellbender is not my girlfriend. Correct, she's mine. Yet. Threat level galactic, monster queen, status immune. What does that mean? Little is known about her prize of the galactic war, only that attempts made by Chitauri forces to colonize Seknarf 9 ceased once she overthrew the planet's ruling priest class. Although she's not directly associated with the resistance, her own violent opposition to the invasion has been noted by the world mind. At this time, Seknarf 9 remains a non member of the Nova Corps intergalactic militia, despite recruitment efforts from the world mind. It is also worth noting Hellbender's political status grants her certain immunities and protections under galactic treaty. Hellbender operates a sanctuary for monstrous creatures. 
Uh, placed a bounty on the gardeners. Thank you, Doke. Why does this guy seem familiar? Lipless. So, I, I looked this up. Uh, this is, do you remember back on Nowhere? Uh, when we saw Rocket and Groot in the bar. And we could have walked straight in, but I walked like one step too far. And it played a cutscene. And then when I went into the bar, they were gone. Well, turns out that if I'd walked into the bar, there was like a seven minute long cutscene with this dude in there. Who apparently, uh, we, we, like... I can't remember exactly what it was. We forged some kind of bond when Pete, Peter was like completely drunk. Uh, and he may, in the cutscene, he makes us sing a song with him to prove that we're still like bros. And uh, the, the one I watched, he successfully sung the song and we confirmed we're still bros. And it was all good. But you could also fuck it up and then he'd try and kill you, I think. I don't know. But uh, it was kind of, it was, it was funny. But that's, that's what this guy is. Threat level village, alias unknown. Uh, the Rido, the Rydoctlian, known only as Lipless, is a well-known smuggler who frequents Mantlo's bar in the Nowhere spaceport. Lipless fled Marlilia when Nova Corps agents raided illegal flop houses there and arrested their proprietors. Lipless has remained inactive for several rotations following the arrests, only resurfacing recently with a new business partner, the notorious poacher Ruby Thursday. Her illegal outfit, the Headman, is reportedly operating out of the Andromeda system. Affiliated with the headman and the collector. Grand Unifier Raker. This is the dude. What was looking for in the quarantine zone. Probably nothing good. This is the knob jockey. Threat level none. Good joke. Uh, in custody. Also good joke. Raker, aka Grand Unifier, is the leader of the now defunct Universal Church of Truth, a little-known cult that rose to prominence during the Galactic War. Their figurehead, a supposed golden god with miraculous healing abilities, perished in the last year of the war. Since his death, the cult has fallen into obscurity. Due to their lack of influence and limited membership, the world mind does not find Raker or the Universal Church of Truth to be a threat. Raker's presence in the restricted area of space known as the Quarantine Zone has resulted in the generation of this file. Read it and weep, losers. There ain't a single scam me and Groot haven't pulled off. You name it, we've done it. If you're charged, it means you've been caught. You realize that, right? Good <laughs> point. Threat level Continental. Uh, he's done a whole lot of shit. Rocket is an escaped biocybernetic experiment from the now abandoned Kree research facility on Halfworld. His origin prior to this facility remains unknown. He's frequently seen in the company of Groot. Given the history of violence, Wildmind re recommends all attending officers exercise extreme caution. Sweep for hidden explosives and traps is also prudent. Should charges be laid, uh, the Wildmind prefers the subject be incarcerated in the kiln. Recently joined the gardeners. Yeah. Wow. When Kree cops go bad, they really go bad. Actually, an accuser is the equivalent of a judge, jury, and executioner. Okie doke. Threat level planetary for old Ronan. Uh, he's a member of the Kree aristocracy and former supreme accuser of the Kree Empire. After the Galactic War, he attempted to incite civil war on Kree-Lar against the supreme intelligence. His efforts were thwarted and his title stripped. Ronan retains an administrative position in the Kree Public Accuser Corps. The world mind has obtained intelligence that suggests Ronan is behind several corruption scandals in the Cree judicial and governmental bodies. Reports have yet to be verified. Wow, your record's a lot bigger than I expected. How big were you expecting? Minuscule. <laughs> uh, threat level village. I mean, a lot of his records are like just dumb shit. Public intoxication, public indecency, reckless flying, illegal scavenging. And then, of course, you've got armed robbery, kidnap, and murder, but, you know. Uh, he's a human Spartoi hybrid and former crown prince of the Spartoi Empire. Former? Quill's involvement with the Ravager Space Pirates has resulted in the generation of this file. Despite Quill's predilection toward crime, the world mind acknowledges his contributions to the Resistance. 32% uh, failure rate on rehab. Quill agreed to testify against Yondu Udonta and the Ravager Space Pirates regarding their involvement in the kidnapping of the child known as Idira's Sacred Heart. In doing so, he was granted immunity and charges have been dropped. Ha. Huh. Quill has recently registered a new business, Gardeners of the Galaxy. Uh, da da da. <laughs> the intention and legitimacy of this enterprise, which bears no relation to botany, remains dubious. <laughs> Another guy from Earth. I'm telling you, Quill, C-53 is the trailer park of the galaxy. Wendell Vaughn, threat level planetary, alias Quasar. Enhanced human augmented with quantum bands, a powerful device created by the abstract entity known only as Eon. Vaughn's use of the bands near population centers has resulted in the generation of this file. Vaughn was an important asset to the resistance during the Galactic War. 
Uh, as such, he's a prime candidate for Nova Corps. Affiliations Shield, Project Pegasus, and the Resistance. Fun fact, that bounty Andy put out is how me and Groot met Quill. I'm just glad I talked you out of collecting it. <laughs> Who says you did? <laughs> Yondu, threat level planetary, whole lot of shit. Former leader of the Ravagers, presently incarcerated in maximum security penal facility known as the Kiln, attempted and failed to escape five times. Although his crimes are numerous, his involvement in the kidnapping of the child known as Idea's Sacred Heart has led to the generation of this file. Without the assistance of former associate Peter Quill, he would not have been charged. Given his dedication to criminal enterprise, the world mind feels rehabilitation is not possible. Permanent incarceration recommended. Yondu placed a bounty on Peter Quill. Right, I think we did know that, but I'd forgotten. Because I think we learned that uh, Rocket and Groot were coming after us, and that's what we met before as well. Interesting, I am interesting. Unfamiliar with this Kree. One of the nameless. Oh, spooky. <laughs> Final one on the list. Zach Dell, alias Wraith. Uh, member of the Nameless, a subspecies of Kree who have bonded with the Exolon. This bond has granted Zach Dell certain enhanced abilities. Given his relationship with the Exolon symbiote, the world mind has determined Zach Dell to be a potential threat. Kree Empire has requested assistance in apprehending and containing him for crimes of vigilantism. The world mind has determined that additional support cannot be rendered. And there we go, back to the top. Alrighty, on to image All files. Right, let's take a look. Wow, super riveting, Quill. And to think we could still be reading my criminal record. Hmm? Please do not. Okay. I was wondering how they knew about us. Quill must have tripped the sensors on the way out. Isn't that the mining rig from the quarantine zone? Oh, great. Looks like your girlfriend was collecting evidence against us even after the two of you struck a deal. I still do not understand how the Churchman's ship exploded. The Nova Corps is known for their security protocols. It's called stupidity, Drax. Something the bucket has got a lot of. Hmm, or it wasn't. It was some kind of... I don't know. I feel like it wasn't just an accidental explosion. That's got to be when this thing started, right? And lastly, video log. There's something in here. There's only two. Hey, isn't that the mining ship we explored in the quarantine zone? Yeah. When is the footage from? Signal stronger. We must be close. How close? Hard to say. There's too much interference. Centurion Corral found something. Yep, she that's the thing we released. We Flark. That thing. You don't think. It is the creature that devoured our monster. <laughs> Could have been a million things. I mean, it's restricted space for a reason. <laughs> no, you're a Lotus Scut. That thing's got nothing to do with us. Ah. Uh... That gem Corral picked up. I think it's the same one we shot in the quarantine zone. Uh, we? You're the one who shot it. Fine, the gem I shot. The point is, is that shadow thing came out of it. We did this. The quarantine zone's a giant death trap. So we released a shadow thing. We made it out, didn't we? Your stupid girlfriend probably did too. You've been saying the whole time she's probably dead. <laughs> probably alive, probably dead, whatever. Important thing is, we're all fine. Corel is tough. If anyone made it out, it's her. I know it. Okay, and video number two. This one's a bit fucked. Yep, pretty fucked. Is there any point to keeping on watching it? Is it gonna, like, cut to something we can actually see at some point? Or is it just fuck a rude? I think it's just fuck a rude. Ah, there we go. It ended itself. Okay. That's everything. What the fuck is this?
Guardians of the Galaxy. Hi. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. Sometimes sacrifices much. His body is made out of those I cubes. The track. Crew, sweep the leg. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? <laughs> and it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in. Which We're we definitely fighting them. All appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions like Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The matriarch wishes to share it with you. Oh, she does. Great. Uh, uh oh. This is not great. That is one fucking big boy ship. Holy fuck. Chapter 8 The Matriarch. Sacrosanct, Universal Church of Truth Temple ship. their lack of fear. It was a proven battle tactic. Katathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? <sighs> can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. All right. On my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Walk with me. Oh, oh boy. Grab your chest and drop. Find another plan. Here we go. 